So I had improvised an uh, underquilt for my hammock. I already had a blanket and I wanted to make it more multi-purpose. So I took a lovely blanket and smashed some holes in it. <laughs> um, and initially I used these kind of big chunky green repair eyelets. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but um, yeah, they're bulky. Um, the holes that I put in were quite messy. I basically decided to buy a set of those and the tools to be able to put those in. Uh, they'll just be much flusher, neater, um, just less bulk to them. Also, because I was so happy with how the DIY underquilt turned out, um, I actually bought another one. <laughs> this one here, so, um, so I'll just... Uh, record myself smashing some holes into this uh, lovely blanket, brand new, and and then I'll pr try and show you the little system I have for attaching it to the hammock and attaching the two blankets together as well. I'll do this one first, replace these grommets, and then I shall go to the new one and do the same. realized I should have used the coaster <laughs> that has no value to me whatsoever. I have been smacking holes into this table. We love and learn. <laughs> Too late now anyway. So one Crag Hopper's Eco Comp Light Throw Camping Throw. Um, now modified with a pretty cheap. I think it was it was about five quid on eBay. Just basic uh, grommet kit. Now for uh, getting the bungee system set up um, to be able to like cinch in, cinch the bottom of it in. So basically using five tarp clips, which will bunch it all in at the end. Um, yeah, and then how do you attach it to the hammock? So came down to the park and put my hammock up and wanted to test my hanging system because I did use it already. I felt it was too neat up against the, the hammock and I think it's uh, this is better. Anyway, I just wanted to show the, what sort of setup I've got. So this is how I'm attaching the under quilt to the underside of the hammock. Just using little cheap one pound for five carabiners from the pound shop. Um, they're bungeed on. And then here, this is what I'm using to cinch it all up. Um, and it's these tiny little tarp clips uh, which 
you know, I've seen people using big chunky tarp clips. These are tiny. Um, and I was always a bit sketchy about whether they would do the job or not, but actually they're they're staying there um, because the bungees, there's not as much force on it. So they're working a treat. I've basically got one, two, three, I think three, one, two, three, no, about five on each end. Um, I figured out that these little toggles don't really matter other than stopping the, the bungee slipping totally through, but uh, they're a bit obsolete to be honest, but um, I still may fiddle about and come up with a slightly different system. Um, and then I've got, just because it's, um, because this has a bug net on it, um, but it's a two ways up thankfully, so basically you can have that uh, carabiner on to the middle, so that keeps the middle. Well, hopefully not, man. Hopefully not. But times are tough, you never know. <laughs> um, so yes, so that keeps the metal from slipping down because that actually had happened the last time I was out. Um, also, let's see, I just want to show you these little tarp clips. Um, which I just picked off, up off eBay. That's them there. Um, they don't open a huge, the teeth on them don't really open a huge amount, but it's enough. And even with the, even with the tool box and the crag hoppers quilt, which is double layered at that part, it's enough to grab onto that. And then I say they held um, when I was camping a few weeks ago. So very happy with those. And I'm actually going to probably just do this now, but um, I showed you I've got little grommets now put into my wee Ayunkalak pillow that I've had for about 23 years um, and I'm going to actually put wee bungees and tiny little carabiners um, onto that so it'll mean that the pillow stays in place as well um, and these are another little beaut from eBay these tiny little carabiner clips they're so useful a wee bit fiddly sometimes but flip so good so I have <coughs> a little bag of tricks that I bring with me, uh, which is just a wee Life Venture wash bag. It's got cordage, uh, pliers for getting hard knots out of, uh, or hard knots out. Uh, some more of those wee cheap pound shop carabiners, five for a quid, brilliant. Um, so yeah, super happy with that. I'm gonna stick the pillow on now. That's me for the night. Just hanging out in the pack. There's me pillow gun. <sighs> Lovely. Happy days. So, um, as the last part of this demonstration of how to make a crack hoppers blanket or any blanket at all like you could buy a cheap sleeping square sleeping bag maybe or um, but I use the crack hoppers blanket because it's so versatile in and of itself uh, it's brilliant and just adding this extra feature is <laughs> and it, like makes it even more it makes it fantastic um, <clears throat> the other thing that I like about this is that I can just double it up I bought two of these blankets um, and it means I can connect two together um, when it comes into autumn winter um, and the way I do that is I've created this little setup here with these tiny little tarp clips um, which is what I use for bunching up the end of the under quilt so the drafts don't get in um, so the heat doesn't get lost too easily but that these are so useful so useful they're tiny um, those little teeth just clamp down and I've just attached a little piece of bungee onto the end and essentially it creates a locking device so I just feed in that and, <laughs> and snap it down and yet yeah, it becomes this little way to attach things together so um, I have six of these and all I do is I've got one, the main under quilt, which I'll use all year round, and I've got the second one, and 
all I need to do to double that up in the winter is to feed this little bungee connector through the grommets and there's enough space even if there's two layers so now they're connected together snap bungee and do that six times and if you've got a double undercroak that'll see you right through the year um, so yes get a death like these little tarp clips have really changed they've been a game changer definitely and the tiny little carabiners that I showed in the last one of the other videos um, definitely useful to have even as a, a backup um, but I'm quite pleased with that we set up with the bungee and the tarp clip um, that's brilliant and it's a very lightweight kind of setup as far as like connecting it all together lightweight carabiners bungee and really lightweight tarp clips so there we go happy hammocking uh, another thing I want to mention in this video is that I was always a ground camper I was usually it was tent camping was my thing um, and even when I initially started using tarps it was always on the ground and so I always for 25 years I've been using ground mats of a variety, like varieties of them um, self-inflating mats and more recently just air mats that have blown up and and then using like foil under layers to for insulation in it um, and I tried initially in my early hammocking experiences to have an air mat in the hammock it just didn't work um, and I know there are hammocks out there with sleeves underneath them and then you can slot that in um, and that can definitely make that easier and make it work better I just feel like the under quilt and the hammock are just made for each other um, and I, I feel like it was hard for me to get my head around that the let go of the ground mat thing um, but yeah it's revolutionized for me the hammock experience i am 100 percent for under quilts um, and also 100 percent for diy on your own <laughs> if you have the time and energy for it